Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your November 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Sagittarius this is for you if this resonates with you please like share and subscribe and leave me a comment make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me i would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you at all sagittarius please do check your moon your rising and your venus sign as this will not resonate with every sagittarius out there Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on with Sagittarius? Okay. Okay, so uh, there's a lot going on with you. Um, I just want to say this. You guys are going through a hard time right now, and you're feeling very hurt and very alone. And um, I, I would say by the looks of things, uh, be a little bit, for those, for some of you, not all of you, be a little bit careful with... Um, numbing that pain okay a little self-indulgence here but you got to have a little bit of hope and faith Sagittarius that things are going to work out things are going to go in your favor here right you just need a little time to heal you feel extraordinarily stuck you feel very lost right now but there is happiness coming your way some sort of wish fulfillment here all right, so right now there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of um, illusion around you, a lot of um, hazy thinking. You really need to gain some clarity here. And you're afraid you're not going to be making the right decisions. What you want is a stable, settled relationship. And I feel like that's what you're going to get, but you're not going to get it with a past individual. That's not where it's at. Uh, they, there was an ending here. They really hurt you. And you've just been kind of floating out there in the ethers, okay? So Seven of Cups, this is water energy. Um, you really need to gain some clarity here and cut through all that illusion. I feel like the past was very much an illusion for you. I feel like there is somebody out there that can give you this um, and somebody that um, you may be um, dreaming about and but maybe haven't met yet or maybe you met this person you're dreaming about this person but the two of you haven't actually um, had a new beginning here with each other haven't been in a relationship yet but um, a lot of dreaming going on a lot of um, hazy thinking a lot of clouded thinking here and you're, you want to make the right choices. Um, you want to move in the right direction, but you got to have, you got to get, um, you got to have a clear mind to do that. And, and uh, it's hard right now because you are hurting so much to get clarity of mind, but you're going to be moving in the right direction here pretty soon. Seven of cups, that's water energy. So you could be dealing with an, an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. This could be your energy. You may have strong air in your chart. This is how you gain clarity of mind, okay? Embracing this King of Swords energy. So you've got to start putting the emotions, try to separate your the emotion from this situation it's very hard to do because you feel stuck in that it's it's you're thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it and um so clarity and king of swords is all about clarity 
thinking with your head, trying to cut through all of this illusion and trying to make the decision that is best for you. Okay. Cause I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of doors opening for you, a lot of opportunity out here, but you have to, um, you have to let go of this illusion of the past, all these emotions that just are kind of almost torturing you at this point and start looking towards the future here because there's opportunities here and I feel like there's going to be another door opening for you here Sagittarius okay so there is you again king of wands energy you're going to get that fire back and you could be dealing with another fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart, but you're going to get your fire back, okay? Male or female, it doesn't matter. This is a temporary situation. There are better days ahead, okay? So you're going to embrace your power. You're going to step into your power after you gain this clarity of mind. You're going to be stepping into your power and pursuing... Um, those that you want to pursue okay so that's very good you know what you want it's just this this past situation it almost it almost caused you to go spinning backwards that's what i want to say um but you're going to rise above this and you're not going to let it bring you down for too long right not for too long and you're going to you're going to be on top of your game before you know it here with this king of wands energy you just needed to take a minute right you needed it to take a little bit of, of a break and be quiet and be still for a while and really think about things a lot of swords here in this reading which is telling me clarity is of the utmost importance for you to make the correct choices and rise above this situation. But you just kind of took a break. Um, you went on a bit of a hiatus here. You needed a little bit of rest from all of this. Okay. And um, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot going on with you here. So let's get into it. Right. Four of Swords. That's more air energy. <clears throat> so I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. Sagittarius. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. And cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. It's a general reading, so you assign the roles as you wish. At the heart of the situation, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I feel like something has come to an end, but this was an... This past situation was an illusion. You wanted the, the absolute best to happen here. You wanted those higher level of co commitments here. You wanted stability. You wanted family. You wanted loyalty. You wanted abundance. You wanted it all. And you wanted it all to last forever. But this was a falsity. And it left you feeling very hurt. But as soon as you are on top of your game here, Sagittarius, you're going to be choosing the door that is correct for you to get to what you want here right like i said you're not going to let this past situation bring you down the challenge is you're feeling pretty low right now you feel pretty bad you feel pretty lost shut out um alone right possibly worried about finances and things like that but it is just a worry this is this is a temporary situation here five of Pentacles that is earth energy your advice right is let the past be in the past right ten of swords are endings you were there's big time betrayal here a lot of hurt and a lot of pain here so in order for you to gain some happiness, to get what you want, you have to let the past go so that you can move forward, right? And those other doors can open for you, Sagittarius. So Ten of Swords, um, you got to move past this, right? You got to let the past end 
so that you can move on and gain some happiness in your life. A lot of swords. Um, eight of swords. This is your focus. You're stuck, you're stuck in it still. You're stuck in the thought of it. You're stuck in the thoughts of being alone. You're stuck in the thoughts of all this pain that you're feeling and this betrayal that you're feeling. And this is why you need to take a minute. You need to take a minute, right? And look at this, what's behind here? More swords. So you need to take a minute and really think things through here and get clear right so that you can get your peace of mind back because it's lost it's lost in thought here it really is and you're you, you feel stuck in it you feel trapped in it but you in order for you to move forward to other opportunities here the past has to be let go of and <clears throat> I think the past really did a number on you because we got the seven of swords right behind that four of swords. So there was a lot of sneaking around. This is known as the thief card in the tarot. There was a lot of sneaking around here. There was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of lies being told, and you ended up like this. This is, this is how it ended. So if you are looking for stability, the past isn't where it's at because the past was a liar okay so we have to <clears throat> take a minute take a breath get our minds together right get get our emotions together here and and get out of that mindset that you're just stuck in it because you're really not this is a very temporary situation here and you want to know how i know because there's going to be wish fulfillment here for you. But if you're looking at the past, there, there's no wish fulfillment there. What you are wishing for and hoping for with this nine of cups, your happiness is this, right? And you're coming into that clarity and that understanding that the past, it was an illusion. It was false. And so now right now you're going to be able to open other doors and discover more opportunities and i feel like there's somebody out there that that can give you this right that can give you this but the past and 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 the fact that you feel stuck stuck in that cycle in that headspace it's it's acting as a block right now so in essence you're blocking your own your own happiness so I feel like you're well on your way. You're going to be stepping into your power pretty soon. This is not an easy time for you. And there's going to be a lot of healing that needs to be done. Um, but you're going to get back on top of your game here. You're going to step into your power. And you're going to be able to um, pursue someone completely different. Somebody that can provide you with this 10 of Pentacles type of commitment because that's where your happiness lies and that is what you want. Please clarify that Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Please clarify that Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Yeah, I saw that before. So I think you're going to get to the point where you're going to stand your ground on this and you're going to fight for what you want and you're going to manifest exactly what you want into your life and you're going to realize, again, the past isn't where it was at. It was an illusion. They were not 100% with you. There was a lot of deceit and betrayal here. So I feel like you're going to stand your ground here and I feel like you're going to feel more powerful than ever after we kind of get over this this initial hump, right? This, this pain that you're feeling. Um, and you're going to rise above it. And this is somebody in the warrior's pose. We're blocking the past out. We're not listening to what other people have to say. 
Um, you know what you know. You've been through what you've been through, right? Those were your experiences. And you're going to feel very powerful here and defensive of what you want. And you're going to create um, this right here. You're going to manifest some wish fulfillment with somebody that you can have a Ten of Pentacles type of commitment with, that you can be happy with. So that is very good. So you're going to fight for what you want. And we got the Magician here, very powerful manifester. So you're calling on all the elements, air, fire, water, earth, and you're going to create the life that you want. And you're not backing down, and you're going to create the relationship that you want. And you're going to get what you want. You're going to get that wish fulfillment, Sagittarius. Let's pull some romance angels here. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And you're most definitely at a crossroads in your life. So you could stay in this toxic, toxic cycle. You could stay right where you are, surrounded by thoughts of this past situation. Or you could make a very clear decision to move forward. Because just like I was saying, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Your usual type, Sagittarius, caused you to feel lost and alone, gave, created a lot of pain and endings for you, got you stuck, and was dishonest with you. Betrayal. Look at all that. That's the past. So keep an open mind here, Sagittarius. Your true soulmate, the one that you're going to manifest or have been manifesting, the one that's going to give you happiness here and a joyful, happy, abundant, long-term, stable relationship is very different than what you're used to. And isn't that an absolute blessing, right? So that's very good. Sagittarius, kind of an intense reading, and I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope um, they're, they're coming in very soon. Once you get over this, you got to make that clear, right? Clearly, and we've been talking about clarity, decision to move past the past so that all these beautiful doors can open to you and something happy can come in for you, okay? So... Um, it's a beautiful thing. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, what else? Please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there. And Sagittarius, next week I'll be working on the future love readings. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And then the live schedule, I usually go live every day around noon Eastern Standard Time. So check all of that out. Um, except for Saturdays, all that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Sagittarius, I hope you're having a good evening and I hope you're taking very good care of yourself and I hope you're staying very happy and healthy out there. You guys take care and God bless.